So everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll keep this short and get right into it, but um, it's taking me a little bit longer to get this video ready. I have had some technical difficulties of going through and editing the whole video only for it to close out of the application and not save any of it. Um, and then also I have gotten engaged in the meantime. So yeah, I've been a lot going on. Uh, before we jump into it, if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you can keep an eye out for things coming up. Also, over on twitch.tv slash toyreaper7, I'm going to start doing a series I like to call The Evolution of Minecraft, which is kind of like the evolution of dance, where we just go through the different, like, timelines and all. But we're going to be starting off, like, in the early betas of Minecraft, and for every, every so often, we're going to move forward versions. So it's going to be a lot of fun, but without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Hello, everybody. It's Toy Reaper here, and welcome back to episode... Four. Four. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe four. If not, it'll be fixed. Uh, but today, we're going to be working with these guys. Um, I was actually getting ready to get things set up. Hello there, Mr. Creeper. Stay over there. I was getting everything set up to work on doing this, and then I had one chasing me, and then I found another one. There's actually two over there by the trees, but they can burn. I don't care. Goodbye. But these guys right here are important. Um, first thing this morning, I got up, I went to the nether, I got some blaze powder, I brewed up some potions, I got golden apples, and now, it's time. You. You. Okay, y'all did not make the sounds like you'd normally make, but whatever. They're, they're working, they're shaking, they got red particles, they're very upset about it. But we're going to have some villagers here, and I'm going to get set up some trading halls, and maybe, just maybe, we're going to have an iron farm. i really like to have one done by the end, but it's going to depend on whether these guys cooperate or not, so. Why are you, why is your shirt sleeve appearing and disappearing? No sleeves? Sleeves. Tank top? Shirt. Magic? Magic man. Duh. Didn't know I could do magic, did you? <laughs> Whoosh. All right. Well, I'm going to let these guys get healed up, and we're going to get some villagers breeding up, and then once we have a bunch of villagers, we will go from there. There was a spider up there. But, yeah, that's what we're working with today. So, prepare for a long one. Villagers are always fun. Okay, well, we're off to a great start. I left the stairs up on the outside. Creeper came in here, blew it up. Other guy burned. But we have this guy now, who apparently is a leather worker for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, this happened. Great start. All right, so it is the following day in Minecraft, and I have since fixed my error. I now have two villagers in here. Um, so now we're just going to try to get us a farmer set up, and hopefully you are going to cooperate and become said farmer. And go. Um, okay, do you do you need a bed? Okay. Aha, a farmer. <clears throat> so that is step one. We now have a farmer in here. You, how do you, okay. I don't know why you keep changing how you look. Where did the other guy go? Oh, God. Okay. Anyways, now, back to business. Next step we're going to do is we're going to get this. We're going to go one, two, three, four, there. That's one, two, three, four, there. This gives me the most room to plant stuff. Which means all of these have to get moved to the wall. And hopefully, I really don't want anything to spawn in here, so we're going to kind of go overkill a little bit. But that that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with overkill. Overkill's fine. Alright, so now that we have all that done, let's get some stuff planted. All right, 
right, so I'm thinking if I do this, maybe place a torch on top of that. I think that'll have most, I think that'll have everything lit up enough to be safe. I hope. I really hope. I am really scared. All right, I am going to plant some of this because I don't want him to be stupid and not plant it. So we're just gonna... So we're gonna get some of those planted and then... All right, and so now, which one are you? You're the little leather worker. I don't guess it matters. We'll throw each of you a little bit. Like, here, you can have that and that. And then you can have this and that and that and that. There. Have at it. Go to town. Um, so now the only other thing I need to do is get a whole bunch of beds out here. And that's just going to require me to go get some wool from uh, Kale Salad's just wool farm back there. And chop down a tree. And then we're just going to surround this place with beds. We're going to have a ton of baby villagers. We're going to get an iron farm. We're going to get a trading hall. It's going to be great. Everybody's going to be happy. And everybody's going to cooperate. So everything will go really smoothly. Am I right? Sir? Am I right? Don't walk away from me. I'm right. I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Everything's going to go great. I'll meet you back here in just a little bit. All right, so I got that set up. I got some beds put down and I went and put my stuff up. I put a few beds down. <laughs> um Yeah, I've got I've got a few. Um but I wanted to have a bunch of villagers and I wanted to have them quickly. And it's working. I have a bunch of villagers now. And cats. This is good, because once they start growing up, I can start shipping out the big guys and putting them in a trading hall somewhere. I'm thinking about having the trading hall over... Hmm. I don't really know. I may have it somewhere over that direction. And then I would like to have the iron farm back there, like in between my house and Kaylee's base. But I gotta figure out where is okay, because I don't want to interfere with her stairs coming down. But yeah, we're making progress so far, so this is definitely good. I've got to do some more work, and a lot of just waiting for them to grow up. But the fact that I was able to get them here and get them breeding as quickly as I was able to makes me feel a lot better. So, stage three, complete. Oh, I can breathe. Completed. So I have been working with my villagers for a while now, and um, some things have happened. A few things. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't have any more villagers in here, but it is because I built an iron farm. And apparently that was too close to here so the villages were getting mixed up and I had iron golems spawning in places they weren't supposed to. But as you can see, it is working now. We got the big guy dying in there just like he's supposed to. We got a little bit of iron over here, but that's not all. That's not all. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, that's not all. I, I've been, I let this thing run for a while because it broke itself and I fixed it. And then I let it run to make sure it wasn't going to break again. And we have this. <laughs> we have a ton of iron. So, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an iron shop. Eventually, I'd figure out how to toggle my perspective and you can look at my face while I tell you. But yeah. I want to open up an iron shop. That's the plan. That's what we want to do. And then after that, I want to get to kind of, I don't know, spookificate in the area. You know, like I got kind of like a little darker base. Kale Salad also has a bit of a darker base. And we got Halloween coming up. So that's what we're going to be working on. I'm going to get to it. And we will, we will see what we come up with. Oh, and I got distracted. I told you I would tell you about this thing. 
So I built the cactus farm uh, just because I tend to use green dye a lot. It might be my favorite color. Um, and also just smelting cactus is a pretty good source of XP, like in the background, you know. Um, but yeah, the problem I was having was I kept filling it up and then I would run out of fuel, much like I am currently. But now it doesn't stay that way forever. This isn't the best thing, but every now and then this does go off. It gets some bamboo in there and it will smelt some of them. So it, it's not perfect, but it, it's something it works. So I'm okay with it. You might not be, luckily, it's not your world, so you'll be okay. <laughs> I'm just playing, of course. But yeah, we've got a good bit of green dye. That's more green dye than I'll ever use, probably. That's the thing about cactus farms. You build one, and you will never use all the green dye that you get from them. But yeah, I'm going to try to come up with an idea of what I want my iron shop to be like. Um, I'm going to go get something set up. And then we're gonna go move on to Halloweenificating and spookif spookifying and just having a good old time. And I hope I pick my trident up because they fixed the looting bug, but the whole uh, trident's despawning very much still there. So, but anyways, I did remember to pick it up. So let's go work on some form of a shop because I'm ready to ready to get some diamonds rolling in you know what i mean you know what i mean yeah don't ask by the wandering traders they uh it's fine nothing to see here <laughs> all right so i put together a little building it's nothing fancy but i kind of like it i use the deep slate bricks with some cobbled deep slate and then a whole bunch of warp wood for the outside um it's if, uh, drowning and then if we come inside, that's my the part that I like. And it's probably not going to look as cool for people who aren't using RTX, but I like it. So I've got this here. I'm going to put the door on, but this is what the inside looks like. I love the way this wood looks in here. The quartz is just so shiny. So this makes me very happy. I want that barrel open. Um, but yeah, this is... This is what we got, and I am happy with it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've just got to get everything stocked up, put a door on it, and hopefully get rich with a whole bunch of diamonds from people buying my things. Yeah. All right, so the shop is set up now. I'll just have to get my junk out from in front of it. Um, I'm being watched. <laughs> um, but yeah, once I get this stuff out of the way, we'll be good to go. So... You've seen the outside of it already. I've got the door put in now. You come in here. I've got special deals. And basically when this stuff sells out, because I'm not going to keep restocking copper. I'm not. And maybe my prices are high, but I'm the first shop on the server. And it's still kind of early game. So we'll see how this goes. But the special deals, as they sell out, I will replace them with other things. But for right now, I've got 12 copper ingots, 12 for one diamond, which is basically three blocks of copper for one diamond, which I don't think is too bad. Um, I think it's a pretty fair price, maybe. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, unless you're on the realm, in which case, no, it's it's right, okay? It's right. Um, and then over on this side, we've just got iron ingots, 32 for one diamond. And then on this side, we have four iron blocks for one diamond. So, the deal there being, I, I mean, this way you get 36 for one diamond. Over here, you get 32 for one diamond, but I don't know. It's more or less just as a way for me to have some backup and just to have more stock in here because I didn't want it to just be this, so. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 nothing crazy, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to make some money off this because surely some people be needing some iron and some copper, so we'll see anyways. Um... I'm about to go ahead and let everybody know that it is open, and we'll see what hap- Wh Hello? Uh-huh. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Um, this is, you know, I just kind of, I didn't really put a whole lot of plan into it. I just kind of went with it. But overall, I'm pretty happy. 
So I hope you like it, but let me know what you think down in the comments. But without further ado, I will let everybody know and we can get back to working on some other things now. I love being able to use iron because like iron farm that I have now works a lot better than even the one that I have a tutorial for. So if you're interested in having a tutorial on it, I will happily make one for you. I don't know that it's like a super like uh, original design or anything. I'm sure a bunch of people have come up with it. But I don't mind showing you how to do it if it's something you're interested in. So just let me know and let's hope that this business makes us a whole bunch of money and we get rich. I want diamonds. A lot of them. I don't have a lot of them though. So eh, we'll see. So I have come up here. I, I, I came up here to do Kel Salad a favor. Um, but I just want to take a minute to appreciate what she's done here. So like you've seen it from down there. The giant castleness and the glass, but like, just look at this. That's what I came and did. I put in the the lava, but like, we've got a second story, towers, a bridge, fireplace, and an army, an army of cats. But like, this is massive, and it, like I've said, this is still pretty early game. So like, this is. This is absolutely insane! Axolotl's over here, but the downside of RTX is you can't really see them. You can see them a little bit. There we go. Yeah, axolotls. But yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to take a second and show that. But yeah, I'll be showing other people's bases as I come to them. But very impressed, especially for as early as this is happening. But I also think you liked it. And definitely go follow her on Twitch and show some love as well. Twitch.tv slash kale salad. I mean, just just look at that. And like the, the windows look like potion bottles. Like I I love it. I love it. All right, so I just popped over back to like our shopping district area. It's been a few days since I built my shop, and I want to go see if we have made any profits. What is this? What is this? I don't... Oh, there's a bridge. I didn't know there was a bridge. I'm used to there being like a cobblestone walkway over there. This is some of the stuff that I asked for. Did we at least sell anything? Okay, we're off to a great start. Don't know why there are so many <laughs> what? What is this? I am very confused. That's why I'm not talking. I... I don't know what... Why this is a thing. I'm also not disappointed that I didn't sell anything, you know, that's fine. Who took the time to do this, and why? Okay, well, to answer my question, no, I have not sold anything. <laughs> no. No. Oh well, this is... I'm gonna see if I can't find out anything about this. Alright guys, so, confession time. We have, since this recording, went into the end and fought the dragon, and I have wings. <clears throat> I plan to go back and do some end raiding at some point, and I will probably stream that. Um, so, yeah. But I didn't record it. 
Neither did JD Headstrong, who also was with us. Um, neither one of us recorded it. So, yeah, that was a complete goof on my part, and I apologize, but just know that it was as hectic as you would expect it to be, and a lot of deaths were had, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are still watching at this point, which means you've hung around and watched the whole video, please make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and consider leaving a like on the video. It helps me out a lot, it lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm doing. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Bye!